Yo, what's up guys, Raymond here and welcome back to the channel. So today we had a green day in the stock market, especially after yesterday's really hard sell off that we saw and really overall the last month or so, the bearish sentiment that we've been feeling. So I'm starting to wonder if it's a bull trap and I wanna go into more detail on exactly what a bull trap is and if that might be what we're seeing here. And I'm also gonna go over a few of our plays that we really like on this channel as well. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that like button like you always do, turn it blue and subscribe to the channel to get more videos just like this one on investing and stocks. And don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Weeble when you open an account and deposit $100 with them. And don't forget to check out BlockFi as well if you're into crypto and you wanna send your crypto over there and then collect interest every single year up to eight and a half percent. And they're also giving you a $250 signing bonus. Now, bullish trap essentially is when the stock market sells off, goes down, and then it starts to rise again and it gets people excited. It gets people interested. It gets people buying again, right? Because now they think the stock market is recovering. And then right when it recovers, it sells back down again. So now you as the investor, you're kind of stuck in your positions unless you want to sell at a loss. So I'm starting to wonder if that's what we saw because this week, especially yesterday, recently, we've been seeing that sell off. We've been seeing a lot of selling pressure. And today we had a green day, which can be seen as a recovery. So I'm pretty sure that got a lot more people into the market. However, tomorrow is Friday. So can we see a sell off Friday into next week? Well, that remains to be seen. So that's something we want to make sure that we're keeping in our minds going forward. The stock market overall today has been very, very green. A lot of the stocks that sold off really aggressively yesterday have recovered nicely. For example, GameStop currently up 52%. Yesterday was down around actually 35% or so. AMC as well. Zometica sold off pretty harshly yesterday. I think it hit around $1.30. I bought a little bit of that because I made a video previously about a week ago on this stock and at that time, Zometica was around $2.50, but I said I was going to hold on a little bit to see if it dropped below that $2 mark, and it did, so I went ahead and scooped up some shares on that stock. Voyager Digital, super bullish on this one in the long term. It sold off pretty harshly again yesterday, dropped to around $18 or so, scooped up a couple more shares of that one. Star Peak Energy didn't really do too much on that. Pyrogenesis, I went ahead and bought some more around six dollars and eighty cents when the market was selling off nano dimension has sold off really aggressively recently but i'm still keeping an eye on it i think it can go lower cciv that's one of those stocks that's been absolutely crushed not really sure what's going on with them bio nano genomics a favorite of ours talked about it yesterday actually and it sold off pretty harshly sold off to around six dollars and 92 cents I took a nibble around the $7 mark and bought up more shares. But this stock, even though they had pretty good earnings, after the earnings, the stock price went up a little bit and then continued just to sell off harshly after hours and all of yesterday. But it looks like it's recovered so far so good today. Sense and Bio, we recently talked about this one too, and it looks like it's recovered after yesterday's hard sell off. Palantir, bullish on this one. I think it hit around $20 was nibbling at it a little bit, bought up a few shares. Gore's holding, merging with uh, Matterport, and it's been getting crushed here recently. I mean, it dropped to what, $13? Yep, and I scooped up a couple shares here. And I don't think we're really gonna see this price hold for very long. I think we're gonna start seeing it climb higher. So if you're a bullish on this company, especially when the merger happens, you might wanna start scooping up some shares because the recent low was around $11.39 and we're back around 13 bucks, 14 bucks. So it's a really good price to get in because I think Matterport long term has a super big opportunity to skyrocket. Neo is another one I have my eye on. I haven't pulled the trigger just yet, even though to me, this is super, super cheap right now, below $40. So that might be something to consider if you're bullish on this company. Tesla, another one that I'm pretty bullish on. I'm looking for a dip below 600. I'm not sure if we're going to get there. Maybe the lowest is going to go is probably 620-ish, maybe. But if it dips below 600, I'm definitely a buyer. Which finally brings me to Teladoc Health, one of my favorite stocks here, one of my favorite long-term stocks. 
with the telehealth industry, you know, booming now, especially with the pandemic, even though the pandemic is starting to go away a little bit, you know, with vaccinations and whatnot and things starting to reopen a little bit. Maybe the need for telehealth services might not be there in the short term. However, I think as a long term play, more institutions, more you know, medical facilities are moving more towards telehealth services. So for me, at this price, it's a really good time to start scooping up more shares of Teladoc Health. Now, overall, for me in the short term, the next two to three months, I'm a little bearish in the stock market because I think we're going to have to see a little bit of a correction more than we've seen recently. I don't think it's going to be as harsh as what we saw at the start of the pandemic, obviously, right? But I think short term, again, we're going to see a little bit of weakness here in the stock market, and then we're going to recover and you know keep chugging along to newer highs. Now, what I'm doing and what I always say is that me personally, I'm not selling anything. I'm just going to keep buying on the dips, my favorite stocks. However, I'm going to make sure that I'm not going all in and I'm going to have a cash position on the side, you know, to buy those dips. And I don't want to over leverage myself, overexpose myself in any one sector. So that's how I'm approaching it. But you as an investor, you need to make sure that you have a sound plan, have a sound portfolio and, you know, you're sticking to your rules. You're not listening to some guy on YouTube and following what they do, because at the end of the day, you have to do your own due diligence as an investor. So. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If that sounds good to you, you know, hit that like button as always. Subscribe on your way out as well. And don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Weeble when you open an account with them and deposit $100. And also check out BlockFi. If you have some crypto, you know, still stable coin, you want to send over to them and collect interest each and every single year up to eight and a half percent. And they're also giving you a $250 sign up bonus when you open an account with them. So I have those links down in the description below. So until next time, don't forget to share the video as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.